Food and Livestock Traders Association of Northern Nigeria has announced its intention to go on indefinite strike on Thursday unless the authorities meet their demands. According to the chairman of the association, due to what happened during the NSAS and the recent ethnic clashes between Aousas and Yorubas in Oyo State, have resulted in the loss of property and lives of its members. They will go on an, in a, in an indefinite strike. He said that the government had not yet committed to the incident and have not also commented on compensation. Listen to what the group's chairman, Comrade Mohamed Taha, has told the BBC Hausa during an exclusive interview. During so many occasions, this Northern Association traders had been threatening to go on strike, but due to one thing or the other, they always change their mind. But this time around, the chairman of the association has made it known that the strike will, will be indefinite. They will no more there will be no more transports transporting any food item or meat to the southern parts of the country. The type of food they usually transport from the north is usually maize, beans, sorghum, millet, guinea corn, and so on. They also transport needs in various forms, including cattle, sheep, goats, donkey, as well as dogs. For this reason, the Northern Traders Association are going on strike to see if the government will consider them. What can you say about this? Do you think that their strike or indefinite strike is going to affect the southern part of the country? I think the most important thing is uh, for the southerners to, to go into if into farming too now that uh, all eyes are on fulani s men they will start producing what they need so they are going on strike until they are being paid that is what they want until the government is uh, uh, pays them 475 billion naira they are requesting that is when they will stop who is it not their personal business <laughs> these people can be funny association of awards so if you don't yeah it is too waiting they have been clamoring or they've been threatening with this they are strike of 18 or they are not going to be supplying food to the south then you keep your food there i'm sure if really your people over there can buy uh your goods i'm sure there wouldn't have been any need for you to have been bringing them to the south in the first place to make more money yes if you don't bring it then you keep it over there ogoro must jump <laughs> people must find a way to get what they want so all this uh, story maybe all these things uh, will be leading to something else and it will be to the favor of the southern part of the country which they like i've always said whatever you you are not paying attention to it is what that is what others will do more than you but as soon as you begin to pay attention to what you think that uh, is you know you never gotten uh, interest in because of situation you begin to have interest and you see that you are going to do it better they should keep it are they giving anybody for free i don't understand you are the one who, who you are the ones doing the business if you don't sell your this thing uh -huh, that is your own cup of tea Thank God now that uh, the your state governor, Sheyima Kide, has woken up again. He said even him, uh, his own people today lost a lot of things. So he's demanding 475 billion uh, naira as well to people who lost their properties and all of that. You see how these people want to hold uh, the government or the people in so ransom. That is their own problem. I believe that they should just keep their goods. It's not as if they are selling it or they are giving it free to people just keep it there and you know do whatever you want to do with it why other people do they will still have a way of getting their own uh, their own food you know they have been threatening all this way. ah if they go on strike that the, the south we go uh, 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 we go hungry they will go hungry they will do this and that I, it is even better how this your cow leave it people will have a look for alternatives and they will and they will, they will, they will be fine they will be fine Hey, who cares? That is even better. At least our people will be saved. The sooner, the better. You know, before now, they've been threatening that they will go, but uh, at some point, they will still change their mind. We all pray. We hope that they will not even change their mind so that they will just stay back. It is even better. It is even better. As they are demanding, let us see whether the government might want to go back and pay them. Of course, people will definitely know. The other, others too, who have been affected by this so-called SME and the northerners who are causing problem the ones who are causing problem yes the people too they will request for their own compensation <laughs> they are forming victims here 
Really, the sooner they go, the better for the people. Good of you, hunger and poverty will force you to resign your decision. Who is going to buy all those things from them? <laughs> it's been rotting there. Uh, uh, is it today? <laughs> is it today? Hmm. Nothing we must. Nothing we must. No go see. Uh, we must no go see for gates. That will only multiply your poverty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yes, so people said it's we only want it's we multiply your poverty by the time all those things are even perishable things. If you don't sell them, you keep them there. Uh huh. Good for you. Just like uh, the way they've been talking that they are not going to be supplying cow meat. People will look for the alternative. People will definitely live for alternative. Keep your stuff there. Keep your stuff there. Hmm. I hope the southerners also know what to stop transporting to the north. They should embark on indefinite strike. Also. Nobody have a monopoly to everything in Nigeria. Let us try it and see who we who blinks first. The beginning of restructuring, let it be so so that the southerners can sit to think of the alternative to the items listed. I support the I support it the I support the absolute indefinite strike. Let's see what happens. This is no threat at all. Depending on the north or Whoever for food is dangerous. This is an opportunity to start light scale mechanized farming. Thank God for blessing us with good arable land. Good developments, good gesture. Go ahead, go ahead. Aha, people like Dangote will take over the markets. What of the uncountable northerners in the southern part of part, or they will live by water alone? Okay. South don't need their food. We have enough food in the south. <laughs> that is why you see that uh, these people are trying to destroy the farmers' farmers' crops. People are planting here now. So what are they talking about? And at least if they don't come, people will have a peace of mind. They will be able to do their own farming and even do it in a more modern way. All these uh, threats here and there, to me, it's not that end of day. They should just, just keep their whatever to themselves. As soon as as you are demanding compensation, also others will be demanding compensation. How many people have, have they comp, have they compensated in all the troubles that the S men have given farmers in the south, even in the in the middle bed? How many or how many farmers have been compensated? Ah, these people are the ones calling for one Nigeria. But yes, their approach, their body language, their utterances suggest otherwise and i've been saying this those who are even saying they want to depart they are the ones who are really patriotic they are the patriotic ones so guys let's hear your opinion on this